I think because it's it's two uh, live uh, uh, one live animal and one live person. You know, it's two living objects. You know, uh, working together. I think that makes it very special. I think it's hard work and believe in what I'm doing and never give up. Yeah, I had my best moment and my worst moment in probably in Gothenburg uh, uh, in February when I won the World Cup there. But when the commentator scared my horse and, you know, I nearly killed myself on the prize ceremony there, you know. But also, I must say, the win I had in Monaco was also very special, you know. So those two will probably stand out as the two very special moments. I think it's very hard to say because... Uh, in the old days, we had one John Whittaker. Today, we have many John Whittakers. But if you look at Scott Brash and Marlon Sanatelli on one side, and you have Daniel Deusser and uh, and Christian Alman on the other side, they're two different uh, styles, but both work very well. So I think it's very hard to, you know, I think the most important is that you, you, uh, you develop your own style. I think it must be uh, Camp Twist, you know, back in 1990s, you know, when he was an unbelievable horse, you know. So uh, this was must be a dream horse to ride, you know. No, normally I talk a lot, but uh, before a big competition, I, I, I stay for myself and just try to concentrate, you know, and focus what, uh, on what I'm doing. It's probably back, uh, I had a very good advice from John Wittig in 1995 when I won the Grand Prix in Hamburg and uh, I was last to go and he just told me in a very smooth way how I had to do it, you know, and uh, the way he did that, you know, it was, there was, I never forget that moment, you know, and it was, it was very good. Yeah, I just, they just have to look to me. I've been on a Norwegian team for 45 years. So you have to know that this is not a short-term sport. So you can, you have to have a long-term program when you start. And, and the most important, 90% of your success is, is a down trip, you know, because you have one down or sometimes eliminated, you fall off, but you can soon come back, you know. So but I think it's the most important, never give up, believe in yourself and try hard. That's, I think, is a, the, and the biggest talent the rider have is to work hard. Not if you can write this and that, but the biggest talent is to work hard. It's very easy, a telephone. Without a telephone, I would be dead. That's also a hard question because all the LGBT destinations have their own identity, you know. You know, one is a small ring, one is a big ring, you know. So I find it very hard. And sometimes you like the one where you're doing well. So. I probably have to say Monaco is one of my favorites, but you know, like Falkenspad is fantastic, London is fantastic, Shanghai, there's so many good ones. There is no bad ones, you know, so it is a very hard question to answer, you know, so I think all have their own charm, you know, so I love them all. Yeah, back in 1979, I lived with the Whittakers in Yorkshire, in England, and the father of John and Michael Whittaker, they couldn't say gayer, so they, he said, I call you Jimmy. So since that, you know, a lot of foreigners, they call me Jimmy. You know, when I go in London, uh, the Olympia show, which I've been to 27 years, the commentator also said Jimmy Gullickson coming into the ring. So, so, but that's like pop stars. They have the nicknames, you know. Probably a, 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 a salesman for cars and things like that. I hope that's not right, but if I had to pick, it must be spare ribs. I think I'll take Bruce Springsteen, Bill Gates, and Donald Trump. Yeah, I was very lucky. When I was 16 in January, I got a present to go for safari in Africa. I'd never been to Africa, so uh, that will be, uh, we were actually planning to do it this year. I must say, probably skiing and football. Not to steal their horses. 
uh, I don't watch, I'm not the Reiki film man. I watch mostly news, you know. I'm busy all day and so I watch the news. It's probably my wife, you know. I think the most important thing is that I never given up and that it just showed as a 60 year old, I can win the World Cup, you know, in the, in the biggest show in the world in Gothenburg, you know. So I think uh, that's just to give up and have keep the enthusiasm. The day I don't have the enthusiasm and the child thing in my, in my head, I have to stop straight away, you know.